Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video from Jerusalem. Uh, very, very exciting news recently as if the imminent arrival of Car4 in Israel wasn't big enough news. We now have AliExpress apparently dispatching stuff locally from within Israel. Now, if you don't know what AliExpress is, if you're lucky enough to have uh, better e-commerce options, it is a Chinese website. It's the direct-to-consumer um, side of Alibaba. So those who do uh, business purchasing probably know Alibaba, huge uh, trade merchant, merch online marketplace. And AliExpress is uh, sending stuff out of China, out of the East, direct to consumers. Now, I've been using AliExpress for seven years and I've bought literally thousands of products. I do not exaggerate on the marketplace. It's a good website with the exception that the customer service is kind of non-existent, uh, almost. Uh, but the main problem has been that it takes a long time to come to Israel. Nevertheless, Israel, a tiny country of only about 10 million people, has emerged surprisingly as one of AliExpress's main customer base. And I think the reason for that, it's a combination of frustration on the part of consumers with the high price of local goods. The fact that Amazon um, does ship to Israel now, but it's still a relatively small uh, part of their inventory and it still only makes sense to ship certain things to Israel. In other words, the current free shipping to Israel offer only starts from $49. So if you have, if you want to buy a $20 item, might have $15 shipping. So it's still not really, uh, it's basically there's still a large, dist a large gulf between the utility of Amazon uh, in the USA, especially using Amazon Prime and Israel. So Israelis have emerged as uh, surprise huge customers of AliExpress. Now we did see in the news a few months ago that AliExpress were uh, in trying to improve their logistics to Israel because I think the volume of orders here took them by surprise. And now we've seen more exciting news. I'm just gonna screw in my microphone stand here, uh, that they are actually beginning to warehouse goods in Israel. So I'm gonna jump over here to the actual news coverage as reported on Globes. Somewhat recently, this was uh, reported here on the 11th of August, AliExpress opens warehouse, warehouses in Israel. The Chinese online retail giant has set up warehouses in airport city to store products in short and delivery times. Now, for folks who uh, don't know what, what airport city is, it's a commercial industrial park located right next to Ben Gurion Airport, which is Israel's main uh, international airport. In fact, it's only one of about two really with the new Ramon airfield next to Eilat. So very logical place. It means that um, AliExpress can fly in air freight from the Far East and then just bring it over to their uh, fulfillment center uh, in airport city, literally a stone's, a stone's throw from the runway. Online retail giant AliExpress, owned by China's Alibaba Group, has been operating, and just a little bit problematic, the English here, so I'm going to translate, has been operating a pilot project in Israel in recent weeks by leasing warehouses at Airport City near Ben Gurion Airport and storing products for direct delivery in Israel. The idea is to allow customers to order products online that are already stored in Israel to speed up delivery times, blah, blah, blah. Now, I've actually been noticing that there have been some products shipping from Israel for about a year now. It's been now and again I see something that ships from Israel. The difference is, as far as I can tell, some Israeli merchants were, were participating on AliExpress, but now AliExpress, the company, is warehousing merchandise in Israel. Now, let's jump over to AliExpress and show you guys um, how to find stuff that ships to Israel, right? So I was looking for a um, another isolation shield for my lovely array of microphones. So I said this would be a good little uh, test case, right? So I've searched for, let's just keep it simple, pop filter microphone. And now on AliExpress, we have the familiar minimum, 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 maximum price settings, the very useful free shipping toggle. And we now have a ship from option. And what you need to do is go down and click on Israel. Now we're gonna see our stock contracting a bit because it's a pilot and they don't have a ton of stuff stored here. But let's take a look at a sample product. We have a uh, isolation booth here, something very similar to the one I bought from Amazon recently, but a little bit uh, cheaper. Now, here's my warning to you guys, right? 
you may think well we've selected it ships to israel so i'm just going to click buy now and it'll come from israel in a few days instead of a month not the case you have to be careful see here under free shipping from china to israel so this is by default still going to dispatch out of china so in order to change it to israel we need to click under more options and have a look so this is what we're seeing now this is the very very early days of the trial so i don't want to be too hard on aliexpress yet but this is kind of the classic conundrum of things that don't make sense to ship to israel the shipping from israel to jerusalem where i live is 24 dollars 55 on an item that's only 11 dollars right so that's an example of it doesn't make sense the shipping is more than the actual pop filter um for some reason the price is changing i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on here but um, most of these options are still ex-China. We have DHL, as usual, being the most expensive option at uh, $95. Um, and we have tracking options for FedEx for uh, $68. Um, but the dispatch out of, out of Israel option is $25, rounding up. So let's try a smaller item because these, you know, uh, pop filters are pretty bulky. A lot of fairly, fairly heavy bit of metal in them. Let's just go for a more simple consumer purchase of Bluetooth earphones. Same thing is going to happen here. It's not going to remember your shipping preference. So you want to go over and uh, click on Israel and then we're going to filter. And then as before, our options are becoming smaller. Um, let's just take this. Uh, do, 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 do. What do I go for? Okay, I'm going to go for $20 product. So um it's not hopefully complete rubbish bluetooth earphone qualcomm again same thing happens here from china to israel via dhl that's the free shipping method so once again i need to click into more options and now we actually have free shipping x israel so this is one of the items that you can get for free from israel and um, i'm not sure what the delivery times are going to be it says here estimated delivery four to ten days as opposed to typically in my long experience buying aliexpress products from israel i'd say a month is i've had some outliers come in 10 days but a month or longer is typical so that's a much shorter delivery time and it's going to be delivered we're going to skip the whole air freight aspect from uh, china to israel and we're just going to do final mile final mile delivery in israel so that should significantly speed up things now i did find a couple of things that had nominal relatively nominal shipping fees shipping fees x israel so i want to show one of those items too um here is a cheaper in you know one of these wireless earphone things for about five bucks and actually uh we have seven dollars uh shipping here from israel to jerusalem uh seven dollars 37 that's an untracked shipping method so um i want to caution that it's early very early days in the trial here and uh this didn't it, from the news coverage it read more like this is a pilot project than something definite they're currently renting warehouse space in airport city more importantly from the consumer standpoint uh i'm buying an aliexpress change the ship option to israel you're going to filter on products that will ship to israel and then uh you're a but then you have to make sure that it's actually uh shipping using an israeli delivery method and not ex china uh because uh, you have to do that second step too there are completely free shopping is free shipping options all within israel which is a very big deal this is the first time i've seen it in aliexpress and there's um some of some of them are costing more and some of them are costing enough that it's it makes more sense to just get it from china as usual and wait that month period for it to route to your home in israel if you're looking at buying stuff on aliexpress in israel i hope this video was interesting this is a pretty big development living in israel is getting easier and the more international companies decide to sell here uh, more competition on in the local market and hopefully going to lead to better consumer prices for all of us thank you guys for watching if you do want to get more videos from me about living in israel subscribe check out the living in israel playlist which is where i aggregate those videos and until the next video thanks for watching